we're very fortunate that we have clinicians and staff who are uh, you know, passionate about uh, patient care and providing service close to home, that they worked really hard to provide the specialized service for, for patients. The, the inception of the program was to fill a care gap. Uh, classically, patients with pacemakers were precluded from having an MRI. Uh, for various reasons. So MRI is one of the leading imaging modalities to diagnose and eventually treat a variety of different conditions. There are certain things where MRI is, is the best, is the gold standard, and we wouldn't be able to make those determinations uh, with a CT. For example, things like multiple sclerosis, um, a lot of neurological imaging is done first and foremost through MRI. This really opens up imaging to people with uh, pacemakers that they would never have had access to in the past. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging and, as the name implies, uses an incredibly strong magnetic field to create images. Historically, patients with pacemakers and implantable defibrillators were unable to be scanned because of the ferromagnetic metal alloys used in the devices. So ferromagnetic basically means they can be influenced by magnetic fields. That's something you don't want in an MRI environment because you don't want these um, devices migrating or moving in the patient. So that was one of the hurdles and that's something that industry addressed by developing non-ferromagnetic materials. Hospital staff complete numerous additional steps to ensure the safety of a patient before the scan. Then we look at the chest x-ray to make sure that there's no, no abandoned um, pieces of old pacemaker units, um, that none of the leads or none of the system is broken in any way, which would then potentially make it unsafe. Once the device is determined to be safe, the cardiologist then considers its function. The magnetic field uh, can fool the device one way or another. So for instance, in pacemakers, they may tell the device, don't pace. And people who have defibrillators, they may signal to the device, there's an arrhythmia happening, deliver a large shock. So those patient characteristics, we need to be able to program. And we can do that with the series of programmers that we have uh, behind me. So we will put it in a special mode. Sometimes we'll turn off certain features of the, M of the pacemaker um, that are not required during that MRI time. Uh, and then we bring them right back after the MRI, check everything and reprogram them as usual. This means less travel for patients. They can use their community hospital to get this uh, scan done. And it keeps all of the patient's records you know, at the hospital, so it's easy to, to use these scans whenever they have other scans in the future. So it's, it's just better patient experience. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.